Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I would like to introduce you to the DeWalt Cordless Cable Stripping Kit, which is used to cleanly and consistently strip electrical cable without an exposed knife. It quickly strips copper and aluminum cable from 1 aught copper to 700 MCM copper. Quick release bushings are included to cover the range of cable diameters. Okay, this is the DeWalt cable stripper tool, and these are the various bushings that come with the kit. So this will do 20 different sizes of cable. Now, this right here is called 3 aught cable, and this one is made by Southwire, and this is generally used for service entrance cable. So I'm going to, you see these are all labeled. They're all laser etched. This says 3 aught copper. So, and this is 3 aught copper cable. And then you can check, there's a reference table right here. You can check, see if south wire is on the money at 3 aught, 3 aught. It is. Uh, B5. It's labeled B5. It's laser etched as B5. So, this is the correct one. Sometimes uh, certain brands will have a little thicker insulation, so you have to check this reference table. So this is the correct one here, and you just insert it. You see this is a little thing that pulls up, a little nub right there that goes in this little hole. So you put it in like that, you pull it up, and it clicks right into place. So we're ready right there. Now we've got to set the depth. Say you would like to strip it to three quarters of an inch. Okay, this is one inch right here, so we'll set it at three quarters of an inch right there. So you got the black line lining up with three quarters of an inch. Now tighten it down. Right there, tighten it down. And then flip it down like that. Okay, make sure you're on forward. You put the cable in just like that. And there you go, you got three quarters inch stripped off. See how nice that is. So we have the tool set at one inch for three aught copper. Just put it right in. And it strips right off. See what it looks like? See, it just comes right off. So that's that's an inch. And say uh, you look, you you try it, you say, oh that's not quite enough. Now let's say you need another half an inch. We'll put it to an inch and a half right there and tighten it down put that down okay so now you got an inch and a half stripped off okay you'd say you've stripped it at an inch like that and you decide you want to strip it at four inches so put it at four inches There you go. There's four inches stripped off, clean as a whistle. Then if you'd like to cut that, use the DeWalt cable cutter. Just cut it right off. All right, let's say you want to put this at an inch and a quarter. Just like that. Flip it down. Make sure it's on forward. There's an inch and a quarter, just like that. The tool has an excellent variable speed trigger. The reverse gear is only used in case you get a jam. The tool has three LED light choices of low and medium, which will stay on for 20 seconds after the trigger is released, and a very bright LED light, which will stay on for 20 minutes after the trigger is released. It has an E-clutch to keep you from hurting your wrist in case of a jam. The kit box is very well laid out to give excellent organization for the various components. Here's a table showing all of the bushings that DeWalt makes for this tool, which they label from B1 to B24. The bushings included in the kit are the ones that are labeled from B3 to B22. For instance, you could buy bushing B1 separately, which strips down to one AWG copper, or you could buy B24, which strips the largest size available, which is 750 MCM copper. 
The tool is also compatible with Greenlee and Ripley bushings, which make bushings as small as six AWG copper. In conclusion, I love this tool because it's so much faster than a knife and I feel that it is much safer as well. Also, it gives a professional strip without nicking the cable. I'll put a link in my video description for the DeWalt 20V Max Cable Stripper Kit. Also, I'll put a link for the DeWalt 20V Max Cable Cutter and the DeWalt 20V Max Cable Crimper. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.